only on 10 now. Meet the latest crime fighter in central Ohio. Don't let the fur fool you. This young lady's job is serious business. 10 TV's Danielle Elias joins us live in the studio with the introduction. Danielle. Kristen, she's strong, she's quick, and she's the only one like it in Ross County and the surrounding areas. She's a bomb sniffing dog, and the sheriff says it's thanks to the community's generosity they can now explore this new canine's capabilities. There's nothing more fun in the eyes of a child than playing for a prize at the fair. There's nothing more serious in the eyes of the law than keeping those children safe. In a setting as open as this one, there's a quite a few places in which something that dangerous or explosive could be placed. And instead of waiting over an hour for out of town crews to respond, the Ross County Sheriff says he's taken a proactive approach to the public safety. With the help of public donations, they bought their first bomb sniffing dog. She certified yesterday with the state of Ohio, so today is day one. This is Ilka, a two year old Belgian Malinois raised in Germany, trained in New Albany, now living in Ross County. Who's Ilka responds to calls in German and English. Okay, search. Always with one goal in mind. Search. Up. Search. Find anything explosive in empty or crowded areas before people are hurt. For seven days, there are so many campers here that this essentially becomes the second largest city in all of Ross County. Even more of a reason why a bomb sniffing dog is needed. It's been a learning process for both of us. Ilka's handler, Deputy Rick Torchik, says she's a hard worker and full of energy, ready to lend her sense of smell to save the day. Great dog, great dog. And they plan to use that dog throughout the rest of the Ross County Fair, but we've also learned from the chief deputy that the, that the support for this dog was so strong from the community that they're now in the process of raising money to buy the county's second drug dog. Reporting live, Danielle Elias, 10TV News.